Schumacher here at Bristol Motor Speedway for the final race in the round of 16 in the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. I'm Alex Hayden, and I'm here to bring you all the action at the world's fastest half mile. This legendary night race in the heart of Thunder Valley will test these gladiators, and only the best will take home the trophy and advance. Last great Coliseum is ready to play host to 40 of the fastest stock car drivers in the world. Thanks as always to Alex Hayden. So here we go at Bristol. It's the final race of the round of 16. The engines are about to get fired here. And they have been fired. Here they come, the green flag. It's going to be Truex and Hamlin as we're underway in Bristol. Oh, round goes Wallace already on the first lap. So we go, we're already had our first restart of the day. Back in her way. Oh, look at Kyle Bush. He got put in the wall there by his brother Kurt Bush because Walker sent it in there really deep. And he's going to come up on Austin Dillon. He won at Phoenix in, earlier in the year. Okay, and Austin Dillon. Make it all the way to the round of. 12, he'll probably not because he is in a win, a must win situation. Bell, he's currently into the round of 12. Barely, by just uh, four points. But Truex leading here at Bristol. Got Byron there a little bit loose. Now, when we come back in the spring here, it'll be dirt again, so that is an interesting thing. The spring of 22. Next year. Here comes Walker. He'll take, he'll challenge Chuex to the lead, and he has led his first laps of the playoff. Not his first lap for the playoffs, but he leads his first lap here tonight at Bristol. Yeah, and talking about this 41 car and just his 2021 season, it, it is his four wins on your most of any driver this year. And guess where the last time he won? Talladega. Back in the first half of the season, he's been, this is the longest winless streak in his career. Trying to go back to victory lane. And it was shown before that the maximum wins the rookie can get in this season was three wins with Tony Stewart back in 1999. But so far here in 2021, Walker has been on a tear all year long. And, you know, he's just a great guy, great driver. Knows what he is doing. Here he is leading these races doing so well. And he hasn't been able to get the right result he has all year long. And he's been really well on the short tracks. Grew up racing short, short tracks and really well on the road courses. Gonna get James Davidson there. He's 
Moving around the 96 Ty Dillon. And Walker will win the first eight at Bristol. Didn't realize the final lap of the first stage, but Walker wins stage one. Bell, he's going to get a stage point there. And he doesn't need to get much stage points. He just needs to get the right amount. And you know, he has, he has. But here we go. Walker lapped a bunch of cars. This lap at the stage is going to be 19 laps as well. 19 of Truex get to his outside, but no challenge, and Walker will take the lead again. He keeps the race lead. This is the only time that we come to this pay track. Guess what? He won here in the spring. And, you know, that was a great win for him. Probably the biggest win of his career, he said. Because it was at Bristol, the inaugural NASCAR Bristol Dirt Race. First dirt race since 1971 for the Cup Series. Last time the NASCAR Saints Series had dirt before that was the Truck Series, Eldora 2019. They've been... They raced at Eldora until 2013 and until 2019 where Austin Dillon won the first truck race there. And then Stuart Friesel won the last Eldora truck race in 2019, 2020. Uh, took an off schedule due to COVID, did not return to the 2021 and 2022 schedule, which 2022 schedule was released earlier this week. And they'll return to Knoxville next year, Austin Hill, the winner of that race. And all the races will return on the same week, exact same weekend as last year. So that'll be exciting. There's Walker getting it underneath the 16 cast crawl. That car. Wrecked across victory lane last night between Austin Sendrick and A.J. Allmendinger. Dinger, A.J. Allmendinger won the race. And that was a good race last night. It definitely was a good race. It definitely was. So far, it's been more on the tame side. Only one caution for incident. And around goes Quinn Howe. Oh, Quinn Alf and Walker got on the wall there pretty good. That's good. We're just going to stay green, meanwhile. Walker getting a bunch of cars here. He's on the wall. Oh, man. What is he doing, man? He was going to get up to his teammate here, Chase Briscoe, running in 27th place. And around goes Walker, the leader. Walker, the leader. He spins out. And Hamlin will take the race lead. That'll be the caution. Green flag back in the air here. Hamlin trying to win back to back races. A two lap dash with a stage finish. Oh, Truex got pushed to the race lead. You don't really hear that often in Bristol as we have one to go in stage number two. Oh, and it's Truex wrecking. Oh, heavy hit. Oh, Walker spinning out again. He got upside down. And it's Hamlin winning stage two. Man, look at that. Austin Dillon nearly gets a stage point.
37 laps to go in Bristol. And around goes Hamlin. And Samlin, or Byron, excuse me, going around here. Walker goes around again. In front of Blaney and Byron, as well as Chase Elliott and Hamlin. And Legano, and we come back to the re Green flag. Oh, watch Hamlin there. He cut off Blaney. And Hamlin. Here comes the Niner Chase Elliott. Hamlin got spun out in the back in a big cluster. Oh, Walker got spun out there. The Niner Chase Elliott. Guys who haven't won much this year, winning all in the first round. Ellie has two wins on the year. He won the All-Star Race here back last year. Kyle Busch won it this year, and round goes the 24 of William Byron. Got turned hard. Guess what? It's going to be a one lap dash again. One lap to go for Chase Selly in the nine. Chase Selly out front. Walker's going to send it in for one last time. Here comes Selly to the bottom lane. And it's going to be Chase Selly winning at Bristol, the last great call I've seen. No. Oh, and this is the final lap. Never mind. Walker has one last chance. He's gonna send it in. He's in the wall. And for real this time, it is gonna be Chase Elliott winning at the last great Coliseum. Chase Elliott wins Bristol. Chase Elliott gets the win, his third win on the year. Oh, and a big wreck after the race. Huge wreck. Kozlowski's upside down. Briscoe in the air. Chase Elliott wins Bristol. And here's your guys that got eliminated from the first round of the playoffs. Ah, oh, big hits for Kozlowski, Austin Dillon, Kurt Busch, and Daniel Suarez getting eliminated. And here's the guys that move on and and this will be the round that sets the round of eight. We'll see you guys in Las Vegas.